Hi everyone, I'm Shah, a counsellor from NEMS. Today we'll be talking about how we can help a friend with addiction. So by using the ASK model. So the first one is the attitude. So we talk about attitude is about how or what we believe in addiction. So this is the part where you want to kind of check yourself in first in terms of like before having a conversation with your friend, what do I believe in addiction? So for example, if you believe addiction has, has hope for recovery, the conversation or how, how you talk with them, the communication will change differently. So this is a part where you kind of be open to be more curious about them, about your friends, in terms of like what got them addicted or what's making them feel so bad they need to use addiction. So this is the part where you want to check yourself in first, ask yourself what do you believe in addiction and this is the part where you can help them in terms of exploration yeah, and in terms to connect with them better. Next part, we will talk about skills. So in connecting with the first one, the attitude, once you have a different attitude about your about addiction, it goes to skills. This is where how you can talk about how you can communicate them better by different using different types of skills like active listening, uh, hearing what they have shared, uh, reflecting what you have heard, you know, kind of like paraphrasing with them, checking with their feelings, which I think that's the most important part that we have kind of missed out. Feelings, what do they feel at the moment itself? Clarifying anything that, they, that you do not understand. It's okay, sometimes we don't show what they're going through, but it's good to clarify, ask questions, so they feel they're being hurt. And they also know that you're curious about them and that you're really interested, you want to help them. And the last part is summarizing. By summarizing everything what you just heard or just discussed, we'll get them to know that wow, actually you're really paying attention to them and being attentive. By practicing these skills of communication, right, it helps you to open up uh, to a further understanding and help you to connect with them better, which majority of the time they all are looking for connection. So connect with them. So the last part we talk we're gonna cover is knowledge, which is letter K. So in knowledge is about and it's sometimes we tend to feel anxious or we feel helpless about uh, what is all what addiction is all about, and that's totally okay because sometimes uh, we do not have all the knowledge in our fingertips. So outside there, there's a lot of information online, res online information, uh, online uh, what's this? Oh, community resources where you can just tap on and equip yourself with all this information, all this knowledge, so you can better engage your friend whenever they, they decided that they want to get help for themselves. So by combining all the model, the ASK attitude, skills and knowledge model will help you to form a stronger connection to help you understand where they're coming from. And this is where they will feel that they're not alone in terms of when they want to get sick, when you want to seek help for their addiction. Because most of the time, a lot of them feel lonely. They do not feel connected. No one's understanding what they're going through, the suffering and the pain. So having this, using this ASK model will really help you to stronger, strong, strengthen the connection with them. Alright, thank you.